Today we're going to be looking at shifting and reflecting graphs. Sketch the graph of f of x equals x squared, and it is right here. It's this graph. And g of x equals x squared plus 4. When we have a number like this, just on the outside of x squared, which just is a vertical move on the y-axis, so it goes up 4, and it's the exact look, same looking graph as x squared. Now sketch the graph of the absolute value of x and h of x equals the absolute value of x minus 3. When we have something like this, where it is in the uh, grouping symbol, uh, it is a horizontal move, and it's always the opposite, so it's minus 3, so we go to a plus 3. If it had been plus 3, we would have gone over here to a minus 3. Back again to our parent graph of x at x equals x squared, and it's right here. And we've done two things here. We have x minus 1 in the grouping symbols of parentheses, that quantity squared. So what that does is move it to the right one, and there it is, it's moved to the right one, and this makes it go up 2 on the y-axis. So there is our vertex right there. This graph right here is g at x, whereas this is f at x, our parent graph of x squared. Now we're asked to sketch the graph f at x, x squared plus 3. So we, again, we look at that plus 3 is right there, and so that is just a vertical move up here, and it's x squared moved up th to 3 on the y-axis, whereas this one is also moved up 3, but this negative in front of the x squared flips it upside down, and so this is our g at x, and this is our f at x. Now we're doing back to the absolute value. If we have a negative absolute value um, to graph that, it just flips it over the x-axis like our x squared did in the previous slide. And so this is our parent graph flipped upside down because it's got a negative in front of it. Now we have h at x, and they did a little more with that. They took x minus 1, which means we move it over 1, uh, positive 1 on the x-axis, and this puts it up 2 with a vertical move up 2, and there is our absolute value of a negative x minus 1 absolute value plus 2.